What's up everybody? How we doing? So today I got to get the warrior in here to do a hundred hour inspection and part of that inspection is to do a compression check on the engine. Um, we do it on every hundred hour. It's a requirement. But what I thought I'd do today is just uh, make this video showing you guys kind of the steps that I take, the, the procedures, what to look for and you know basically just how to do it for anybody out there who's, who's looking to learn. So that's what we're going to do today and uh, let's get this thing figured out. All right, now we got the airplane in here. Uh, the first thing we need to do is just go ahead and take this cowling off. We'll get the top off, uh, we'll get the front off here and then just kind of get the, disassemble the whole thing and just get it out of the way. All right, now that we got the cowling off, the next step is to remove just one set of the spark plugs. Usually we just take off the top side. You know, it's pretty easy to get to. So that's what we're gonna do now. All right, now that we got the wires off, we're gonna get those plugs out. Um, then I'm gonna grab this. This is uh, my specialty plug socket here and then ratchet. All right, now all we're gonna do is get this top row of, uh, top row of plugs out of here, just like this. And when you pull the plug out, you're gonna have, um, of course, you're gonna have the plug and then you're gonna have this ring, this brass ring that goes with it. Make sure you get that out of there as well. All right, so now that we got all the plugs out of there, the next thing to do is just to grab the uh, pressure tester kit um, out of the box here, kind of open that up, and then we'll start, uh, start on the next step. Let me show you. And that's what it looks like. So what we're gonna wanna grab is this right here. And this is what we stick into the cylinders. Uh, we just screw that in to where we took out the, the spark plugs. So just like this right here. And of course, we're gonna start with cylinder one. You can see that right there. And then all we gotta do is just, just thread that into the hole there and then move on to the next step. Let's twist that in just like that. And snug it up so it don't leak, just like that. Okay, so the next step, uh, now that we got this twisted in here, is to try to find top dead center of this cylinder. And in order to do that, what I like to do is just put my thumb right over this, right over this hole here, and then spin the prop. And when you're doing this, you'll, you'll be able to feel that it's either gonna be create suction or uh, air pressure. And let me see if you can hear it. You just spin it, spin it, and then you see that? There's a lot of air pressure coming out of there. And right there is where you're gonna have your top dead center. So if I spin it some more, it's gonna have, obviously it's gonna have suction because the piston is gonna be traveling that way. And what we did, and it's creating pressure, is because the piston was turning, uh, you know, obviously pushing up this way, creating pressure in the cylinder. And then once you get to top dead center, it's just gonna, it's, there's not gonna be anything there. It's either gonna go one way or the other. Okay, so here is the pressure tester. It's basically just, you know, uh, two gauges here, some valves, and this is where you put the air, just like this. Just hook up the air just like that. And then what you want is you wanna adjust this to where there's only, let me show you here to where it's 80 pounds. This is, the, this is the pressure that you're gonna be working with here is 80 pounds. You know, you just dial it back a little bit, 
We'll move it forward, push the button in, and it'll lock to where you need it to, to where you need it set, just like that. All right, so for this next step, what I do is I stay clear of the prop, you know, make sure that I'm out of the way, and then I just kind of make sure the valve is closed, this valve here, which will let air through the line, obviously, and then into the cylinder. But what I usually do is obviously stand back and then just kind of, if you push it a little bit, it'll let the air out of the line if there's any in there, and then attach it just like that, staying completely clear of the prop. All right, so now that we got everything is hooked up here, what I like to do is I grab the prop, I got my like this, and then just slowly, slowly open this valve, very slowly. And if you have it on top dead center, the prop isn't gonna, it's not gonna go anywhere. So we open the valve, just like that. And then making sure that this is still on 80 PSI, which it is, you can just a, just a little bit there, make sure it's on 80 PSI. And then we take a reading off of our second valve here, which looks like it's about, about 78, 78 pounds. So this would be 78 over 80, which is pretty good where we want to be. Then I just close the valve like this. And that's it. That's how we get our reading. All right, now that we got that one done, what I'll do is I'll just go ahead and write those numbers down. I think it was 78 or 77 or something like that. And then I will just move on to the next cylinder and then just keep on going through all four cylinders and seeing what I got. So that's pretty much it. I went through each one of the cylinders, one through four. And when I got to number cylinder number two, I noticed that the cylinder was a little, it was a little weak on pressure, which is why we checked these things. Uh, it read 62 over 80, and I could hear some, you know, I could hear some air coming through the exhaust. So what I'll probably do is just boroscope it, kind of look at the insides, take a take a look at the valves, see how they're seating and things like that, and just get a little bit, you know, a little bit better eye on, on what's going on with that cylinder. But everything else. The rest of them look good, 77, 78, 72, over 80. So yeah, just that one, I'll look into that. But you know, that's pretty much it. And I think that's what we're gonna call it on this one. So I guess until next time, we'll see ya.